Hey Instagram friends, coming to you real and live from the Target parking lot because that's where epiphanies happen, <laughs> right? I was listening to the speaker and she was talking about the reticular activating system and the neuroscience in the brain which actually shows us that the law of attraction and that our thoughts become things and what we put out, that that is all really, really true. What we put out, we get back and our thoughts are so, so powerful. And I was thinking about that for a moment, right? If we are constantly thinking negative thoughts or if we're afraid of things like, oh my gosh, am I ever gonna get better? Or what's going to happen in my life? Or we're going through that little rabbit hole of fear and negative thinking and negative emotions, we tend to kind of get that coming back, right? We tend to actually fulfill those self-fulfilling prophecies, if you will. I thought it was fascinating that the neuroscience describes that as well. And then I thought, okay, well, what if we switch our mindset and our thoughts. What if we start thinking, my body is healthy, I'm healing, I'm doing really great today, and all of those things, and that can also come back to us too, tenfold. And the big theme of this talk was gratitude and how important it is to come back to a space of gratitude time and time again, and how when we're having anxious feelings, when we're having fear come into our life, that gratitude and fear can't be together in the same place. It's impossible. And I thought, how interesting. So the next time that we feel those thoughts going into those places, and you can tell your thoughts, I think it's really good for us to be aware that we are not our thoughts. We are the observer of our thoughts. So you're just kind of noticing and you'll be able to tell what your thoughts are going into based off of your feelings. If you're feeling freaked out, if you're feeling icky, if you're feeling stressed out, any of those things, those are all good signs that we need to pause and we need to take a deep breath and come back to that space of gratitude for anything that you have in your life. And that's, I think, is why gratitude journaling is so, so important in whatever that looks like. Maybe you have big goals for your business right now and you could gratitude journal three things that you're grateful for in your business. Or maybe you have goals for your health and wellness and you could gratitude journal those things out or with your family or your relationships, whatever that looks like for you. But I thought, what an important reminder. We know that gratitude is powerful. We know that it helps improve our immune system, our body, and I loved the neuroscience showing that as well and thought I would come in quickly and just share that. Be the observer of your thoughts. Notice what's going on with those because our thoughts become feelings, feelings become our actions, actions become the results of whatever we're looking for. So we can trace everything back to our thoughts with that. And that is really powerful and that keeps us in control of our healing journey, of our life, of all of those things. So quick reminder, if you're feeling stressed out, if you're feeling anxious, if you're feeling fearful or whatever that is, come back to gratitude, come back to that space of gratitude, start focusing on those things. I think it's so important. I love using essential oils to support me emotionally for those things too, but what a cool reminder, right? So I hope that was helpful for you guys. Have a great rest of your day. It was on my heart and I thought, you know, I found it fascinating. So I wanted to share in case you guys found it fascinating. Talk to you guys later. Bye.